Good morning and welcome to another video in Scotland today and it's uh, near Stirling. I'm, uh, I'm travelling up into Scotland and uh, it's an ideal opportunity for a little bit of railway photography. But the trouble is it's, uh, it's a Sunday and Scotrail's on strike so there's only very few trains running. Now I'm just south of Stirling and there's an LNER Azuma coming down from Inverness. So going to find a composition and it's a nice view. There's uh, the Wallace Monument and Stirling Castle. And if the sun stays out, then they're illuminating beautifully against the hills in the background. So I'm going to get set up and uh, get the camera ready and try and get this Azuma coming down from Inverness. Now I was going to take the shot from this bridge here, but uh, the overhead's getting in the way and it's not a great, not a great view. So I'm going to uh, just hang off the side here and go for a bit of more of a zoom, I think. And, uh, and get it coming round this bend. Now the train's just at Stirling and uh, the castle's illuminated nicely on the hillside but the whole Stirling hillside has, has gone into the dull. Typical. Welcome back to just outside Stirling. Now, there's a, uh, a northbound Azuma, and it's now the evening time. There's a uh, King's Cross to Inverness, and there's a DRS uh, container. I think it's a Tesco liner train coming down, which is actually running 217 minutes early. So there might be a couple of minutes in them, but I'm going to set up uh, a composition. Hopefully. The light holds out because there's some fantastic light over the hills in the distance there at the moment. So I'm just going to try and find a composition here with Stirling Castle, the Wallace Monument and all the hills and, uh, and see where I can get as the light falls. Now just looking at the diagrams, the uh, Azuma is approaching at uh, Bannockburn and the freight is in uh, Stirling Station so not long to wait. Got a couple of images there, but uh, I'm just going to take a couple more frames and focus on sort of the hills in the background and lower the ISO so I've got uh, a better base quality image and I'll blend those together and see how that looks. And I might just hang on because there might be some colour in the sky. I'll probably give it another, I don't know, let's give it another 10 minutes and see what happens. There we are, the sky really hasn't improved much. So I'm going to take a couple of more images of the sky now. And, uh, and blend those in with a couple of trains and I shall leave you with the couple of images. So thank you for watching from sunny Scotland and I shall see you on the next video. Bye. <laughs> 